So I'm doing the um, farmer's market again, and uh, I'm here like a little bit later than I wanted to get be here by because um, I had to do something for autumn, and this was a last minute request uh, for me to be here, so I'm not even stressing about that. But it's like a ghost town here. Hopefully some people arrive because um, there seems to be only half the vendors this time around, and um, I don't know, it's really weird. So hopefully like they'll have, you know, people that have come down and support. Um, otherwise, yeah, vendors aren't gonna wanna come here. If they're not okay. selling anything. <laughs> What's the point? Um, but it's right down the street from my house, so I like the location. And it's a little bit of an overcast day, which is fine. Um, I looked at the weather and it's supposed to be in the, you know, 70s, so it's, uh, it's been a lot hotter. So this is kind of a nice change. And um, we'll just see how it goes. Can't bear to read the headlines. They try to steal my heart. All those words of anger. popsicle with kale juice in it <laughs> and some cranberry juice I think cranberry apple but she just said num you like it autumn num <laughs> I think she likes it and it's vegetables mmm delicious <laughs> been a long week with everything that's been going on with our family and I'm so far behind with work. I couldn't turn down this farmer's market though because we need the money. So they asked me yesterday if I could do it. And I said yes. So now it's time to eat lunch. Got some delicious ribs. Got a door open. The flies in here. Oh my gosh, that smoker goes right next to me, um, hooked it up, but they didn't have any brisket, which is what I really wanted. But these ribs are St. Louis style and are really delicious. Mmm. Do you like those street tacos from the farmer's market? Yum, yum, yum. yum. Delicious. Ready? Okay. Now this is, I, I know you, you are one of the few people who can appreciate what I'm going to say. Tell you. Sorry. Okay. Now, 1938, the depression was on. People were out of work. That? My mother was paid $50 for a performance. That's quite a bit. Huh? That's quite a bit. No, it wasn't even then. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> anyway, but I think what you'll enjoy is this. The song that was the was the theme song of the famous Voice of Firestone broadcast heard coast to coast forever. <laughs> and my mother had a baritone named Thomas L. Thomas. And my mother was a soloist. And they sang the song called If I Could Tell You. Okay? Okay. The song sold a million copies. Wow. It was the first sheet music sold selling a million copies. Oh my goodness. How do you like that first story? That is a story.
Okay, you ready? Yeah, that's quite a story. Okay, now wait a minute. You haven't heard the rest. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. So years go by, okay? And my mother is old, about 80 years old. Okay. And we are on the train going to Washington. To Washington. I don't know. I don't know. To uh, La L.A. The first time I hear you and the co co coach train out of daylight. And this lady turns to my mother and she says, I know who you are. Is that right? And my mother said, yes. She said, I heard you sing on the voice of Firestone broadcast. Oh my goodness. And my mother said, yes. Oh, I to make a seat. 1938. You ready? Yeah. She's ready. And so she said, well, I want to ask you, my mother's name is Lawrence, Dorothy Lawrence. Miss Lawrence, why did you sing that crap? <laughs> I didn't like that. But it's told so many. And you know what my mother's answer was? What? I had to eat. <laughs> I didn't like that. But it was true, you know. I mean, you, if you, she was so damn glad to get paid. Oh, yeah. Now, remember, it's 1938. People were out of work. Sure. You know how much they were paying opera singers at the Metropolitan Opera at that time? I do not. $25. Oh, my goodness. Can I give them to you for Okay. Okay, that's a story today. So that's a good story. I thought you might enjoy it. Appreciate it. Because my mom would have been on your side. Nice. <laughs> Sounds like a good lady. I wish my boys were small again. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Firestone Tire and Rubber Company, now in its 50th year of serving the public, and the nationwide network of Firestone dealers and stores presents The Voice of Firestone on regular radio, FM, and television, featuring the baritone star of concert stage and radio, Thomas L. Thomas, and Howard Barlow conducting the Firestone Orchestra and Chorus. Enjoying my video? Please let me know in the comments below.